Hello and welcome everybody. Today I will just touch on the subject of uh, having a vellum cloth that's interacting with uh, pyro smoke. Uh, it will be one way interaction that the vellum object will affect the smoke and make it uh, advict through the space. So let's go through the setup and it's quick and easy. So this is uh, our scene and uh, I started with an object, a couple of light, distant light and another distant light and environment light with uh, light and viewport that being enabled with the HDRI inside here. Go to the first frame. I have a grid, simple grid. I remesh it so I can have more detail. Then I selected the top area. After that, I transform it in a proper position because these points will be bent and fixed. Okay. After that, I added a vellum cloth, and in the vellum cloth, I kept the density as a calculated variable of 0.1. The normal drag. I decrease it so it will uh, bounce more and be affected by the wind. Here I bend the points so they are not moving and I keep the other parameter the same with the uh, very low stiffness in the bend. The vellum solver as you can see just falling down and bounces back. Very cool. After that, I added a null object, then added a time shift for the first frame. With this uh, frame, I added a UV project and I initialize it to the Y. And to double check, I added this picture of Houdini logo. And then I use bond deform to take the output of the Vellum solver like this one that's being animated and deform it by adding the second node to the time shift the first node to the deforming non-deforming geometry and the last point to the output of the film and this is the outcome as you can see after that I added a box down below I make it uh, fog volume, I call it density. Then in the biosolver, I did a couple of things. Before I go to the biosolver, I did a re-time and I added interpolation between frames. So I have some geometry between each frame. I extrude it a little bit, so I have some thickness. Also, you can use the VDV from Polygon. And here you make sure the fog is collision called and you added the attribute of the velocity point velocity and you call it whatever I call it velocity or collision velocity collision vel now here this is my smoke setup voxel size of 0.5 will make it 0.1 I fixed the limit of the bounding box so it's not moving from this side. You can make it if you want wider. I make it uh, elongated and I open and I close it from below. In the collision, I use collision geometry. SDF, you will use the collision SDF and velocity, you will use. We add it here. You will use the collision well. Let's have a look. Sourcing the density. I make it three. Let's make it two. I have temperature. I don't want it. Flame and burn. I don't want it. Just density and velocity. In the shape, I remove the buoyancy or the wind or the disturbance. Let's add a little bit disturbance and turbulence. Inside, 
they have gas for this confinement I make it 0 0.40 to 0.5 let's say and gas vortex boost let's make it 1.5 this well the target of 1.2 and the gas vortex I uh, added the velocity to the velocity field and the vortex seal is skipped at the vortex seal and it's 0 0.6 so this is the micro solver let's have a look now it's and a viral bake and increase the density to two and give the smoke color a little bit of white color and merge it together so we can have a view see the disturbance this is with the volume collision let me remove the disturbance that we added here play again let's see the outcome okay so that's the first action next one we'll use the collision geometry and have a look As you can see, it's a little bit slower. Let me remove the PDB. It will run faster. As you can see here, the velocity scale is 1.5, and the collision voxel is very small, 0.02. If I increase it more, like 5, it will uh, scatter everywhere. Unrealistic. Let's zoom out and see. This is the effect of the vortex, vortex boost and confinement, as you can see. Let's have another look. See, the effect is very. Large. If we keep it at one, let's see now. More subtle. And the more you increase the substep, the better it will look. Now let's do another thing. Let's go to the box and make it wider. VDB. And in here, let me fix like this and have another look as you can see side look very cool effect the swirling now if we go here and in the grim cloth we remove the pinning let me move it a little bit to the side to this side and make it down and see the effect now here it will be like this nice and here let's have a look at the output the projection down here so here we'll just 
change it, transform it. We can initialize. And in the volume solver force, let me stop it here. The wind of the X to be zero till it fall down till it will fall at zero. And then within five frame it will be let's say five and we'll slow down till one. Let's watch it now. Maybe I need to increase it even more. Shift and lift click catch. Here we'll make it thirty. Let's look again. Three hundred, let's see now. Three hundred is too big, so fifty. Four hundred. So one fifty. it we'll go all the way down to the merge and have another look so it's dragging it let's make it larger this is the output. Thank you for watching and see you in another quick tutorial. Have a nice day.